welcome to another episode of VMAC Tete Tete. And with us today, we have one of the most loved and cherished new gen Nepali musician whose music is a little too far from the usual. Say hello to Nitesh Chankuar. Hi, Nitesh. How hello, are you? Shin. How are you? I'm good. I'm Thank good. You. Thank you. Thank you for taking time and joining us today. Thank you for having me. How have you been? What's keeping you busy? I'm good. I'm good right now. Just got uh, done with some projects and the latest project is Sat Sandeko. Mm -hmm. It has been a great year for me. 2018. Am, am, am I too scary? No, no, no. <laughs> You've not been smiling. I just woke up uh, just uh, an hour earlier, so <laughs> that is why I think I'm, okay. I'm just adapting with the situation. So if I'm not wrong, you, uh, you're taking a break right now? Yes. We'd like to go a little personal here. Um, your dad has not been feeling very well. And uh, to be my you've been traveling, going for gigs. You know, kaila kai di magma orki kura chali rasa thora baira orki poche gono porsa, right? Yeah. And is this the reason why you're taking a break at the moment? It is one of the reasons, right. uh, to be specific, uh, because I never thought ki uh, I would I would be recognized as a musician and I would travel to places. When those opportunities came in my hand, I was like, okay, let's do it. Because as an artist, you should give time for the audience. And, and also to the stage because that's your, um, you know, that's your platform. The yeah. real platform is the yeah. stage. But at the same time, Dad was not feeling better. He is recovering, but uh, I used to think that, okay, this is fun. I have to maintain that smile on my face every time on the stage. But now the year has ended. I have done my job. Mm -hmm. And now I think, okay, I need a break and I need to go back to that, uh, you know, sing a songwriter feeling again right. to get some emotions out right. and that is why. Let me let me cut you off here. Emotions oh, out, uh, sing a songwriter feeling. Only you've not been doing that. I just uh, released Sat Sodeko right. um, two days earlier right. and I was busy um, for a whole month. It was a good experience because I got to work with uh, a very cool producer. His name is Fosil. Uh, he's a very good producer and uh, we just got the job done and everything, the video crew, the sound right. crew, you know, the people everywhere. The supporters were also there, which was really good. And I think the, I think it's done for now, you know, 2018 was really good. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, I should focus on writing more songs for 2019 because I just don't want to be that uh, guy who just got his first song hit and is just traveling around the world. I don't, I don't want to be right. that. I, I'm always struggling and I'll be a hustler forever. So maybe I live because everything is just so fine and you're there, out there, you don't struggle no boy. Maybe you're feeling a little fidgety. Is that yeah, you, you, you do, you do. You used to put up because that's a really good question. Uh, you, you really feel that inside you, Reza, you know. Uh, when, you, uh, when you dream of something and it's not coming to you, but finally it comes to you and then you think, what next, you know. I need to do because you enjoy when you're struggling. You enjoy when there is uh, there are hard times in in your life, and you just feel alive when you're mm -hmm. you know when you have to do so many things just to get uh, that one shot. You know, and right. I'm I'm trying to get back again. But maybe it's just the way you're looking into things because you're at the peak of your career, and you're looking at that peak with a different view of stagnancy, maybe. I think um, I, I was just learning to play music. I just took this roller coaster ride all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, I was not prepared you for it. Prepared yeah, for I was just learning to play music. I mean, we wish you a bucket full of best wishes. Thank you. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone that is watching right now, they all love you. And he's just starting to get fresh. I'm an adaptive person. Yes, i fresh you. Okay. And so this is called truth or dance. Truth or dance. Yeah. Right. So I give you a few situations. Okay. Five for dancing and five for truth. Okay. So I'll start with truth. Yeah. One thing you were inspired from Korean fashion. I think um, I have to be specific. The hairstyle. Okay. Okay. Do you follow Korean fashion? I don't know. I I, I don't follow. Okay. Them in fashion but I appreciate their stuff. So destination wedding or Nepalese traditional wedding? Nepalese traditional wedding. Okay. If your dream director offered you a Hollywood script okay. but you had to go bald for it, would you do it? Yeah, if I was an actor, I, I, I have to accept with the script. Okay. Abide by the rules. Okay. One musician you would love listening to except Justin Bieber. I just found out this guy. Uh, his name is um, 
Sean Mendes. Oh yes. Yeah, he's a very talented guy. Right. I think I was I've always been a fan of Ed Sheeran and John Mayer. Right. And I think this guy is a mix of both. Okay. Yeah. Would you love eating homemade momos or homemade pizzas? Um homemade momos because we tried pizza once and it was not that good. <laughs> it was a very bad idea. Yeah, it was it was a very bad idea. Okay. So what would you choose and why? Acting class or fitness? Fitness. So okay, so these are the situations for dance. Okay. So you have to dance. <clears throat> I have to. You have to. It is. You it's, have to. First of all, give me the situation. Okay. What's the situation? You just found out that your girlfriend is pregnant. Okay. Okay. So I'll give you the privilege of. Okay. Uh, I mean, because you're a guest, okay. please be one. Okay. You don't have to stand up. You can just like move from your seat. Okay. She's pregnant. Yes, I did it. Okay. <laughs> it worked. You did it. <laughs> Fine. Um, you just won an Oscar. Make something just, different out of the just, moves. You know, like, I have to be prepared for a good, um, you know. You have to dance. I have to dance? Yes. I'm prepared for a good speech on the No, no, you stage, have to you dance. Know. I would dance, I would do the chicken dance thing, you know, because it's okay. the easiest. <laughs> okay. And I would do some Nepali moves like, okay. like holding your kamar and just shaking okay. like this. Okay. You just found out that you're getting married tomorrow. Okay. To a girl you've never seen before. I would not dance to Come that. Come on. Because I'm already... Do something about it, like sad dance, there's a, you know? There's a girl I don't know about mm -hmm. and I'm getting married to that girl. I'll just run away, Ola. Okay. okay. Because that's a scary thing to okay, so, experience. Okay. Acceptable. You just got rejected from Scarlett Johansson. Uh, the first thing I do is I get drunk with my friends. Right. And just, and just dance with a bottle on my on the top of my head and just, okay. you know, like move my body. It's, <laughs> because right. it's it's a feeling of embarrassment. I mean, it could be, well, I don't I, know. I would, not, I would not propose, I would not propose to her. You were just featured on the cover of GQ. What do you call it, the thing, it's very hard for me to do. I don't, I, I can't do that. What What do you call it? We just, you just do, do like this and just do like this. It's a popular dance move nowadays. Something like this. Yeah, yeah, that, exactly, exactly. Yeah, that, really that thing, confusing. that thing I, I would do, right. Okay. What's the, what's the name of that dance move? I, I have no so idea. Famous. So I have another surprise for you since uh, uh, Nitesh's music, like I said earlier, is far from the usual. Uh, I see a lot of poetic illustrations in your music. Thank you, thank you also. And um, I mean, I'm sure you're very good at songwriting that way. So I'll give you a situation and you have to sing to that situation. Okay. You're stuck in an elevator with the person you hate the most. You talk in man to song on my lift my arke ooh Okay. <laughs> okay, Tharki Manchi. Sangam or lift my arm. What do you mean by Tharki? Like that, that person is really Tharki means. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just, just trying to find some words. That's all. That was really okay. bad. Okay. So. You're attending your crush's wedding. Jindagi ma iti dere dukha koi le baaku thiye no jala mon parai uske bhi ma pulo khana pare chhama lai kaise the. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is a nice question for you. Okay. When you want to take a leak and there's no washroom nearby. Ayo! <laughs> John Day! Oh, ayo! Kind of thing. <laughs> it's like I'm relating to that feeling, you know. Okay. <laughs> I can't find the words. Not bad. Okay. When you're riding without a driving license and you spot a traffic police. Batuma. Gari Tole Rakumo. License been there. I mean, why that could race a checking on Gaddy? Cosser is an airport's hardy, take the town and sign a bag, gurney. Some matrimonial and traffic daily kind of thing. Okay. Not bad, right? Not bad. You <laughs> are you're all geared up for your concert. Okay. And you forget the lyrics on stage. It has happened to me. Would you have to sing to that? Man bi troko kura hero mukme aye no. Ani likhe kothi geet maile. I don't know. I just. Gaune saki na. Because yeah, gaune saki. Wow. Damn, look at me. Yeah, you were you were so. I know. <laughs> yeah, like it was it was not bad. Thank <laughs> you, just, thank I'm you. I'm just kidding. I'm thank just kidding. You. It's great. So so let's, let's I am talk bad. about I this. I am bad. I am bad. No, you're bad not. Guy, when it comes so to let's talk about this. Yeah. When you're on the stage. Yeah. And you forget the lyrics, what do you do? I just 
pretend that nothing has happened and right. I just repeat the same line once again. Okay. And smart people will obviously get that right. because uh, musicians will obviously get that because right. they can relate to it. For the audience, it'll just be like, okay, keep a row later. Go. So Nitish, uh, you've been uh, doing stage shows for a very long time now. You've been um, traveling for uh, what, straight 25, 30 days. Yeah. And, and you were not really fine in the head when you were doing that, right? Yeah. How do you pull it off? It just depends upon the uh, audience. I'd like, th I'd like to say thanks to my audience because, right. you know, that, mm -hmm. that happiness on my face, I'm not just pretending. I'm not just being, you know, that actor kind of guy on the stage. When you go up on the stage and people are welcoming you, all of a sudden you forget everything and you just realize that, okay, I'm an artist and I should, I'm an entertainer and that's my job. My job is to entertain people and if they're supporting me, it would be a bad thing for me to back out of it. I was always an entertainer before I was doing music. I, I used to, uh, you know, make fun of other people and make my friends laugh and you just, you just, I, I used to create instant jokes, you know, I was that kind of guy. So you said you was, what about, what okay. about it? You are not that person anymore? I am that person, but, uh, you know, I have to be with my, you know, close friends for that. Right. That there, there needs to right. be a setting for that, for me to, you know, open up. Okay. And in front of, uh, in front of um, other people, I'm always like, I'm always this, you know, like this, the um, down to earth guy, which I am, because they, <laughs> in they front think, of people, I yeah. am this down to earth guy. Uh, yeah, I'm always a down to earth person. Backed up by a very very nice sentence, which I am, <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you so much for that. So I'm, I'm sure this is not your kind of humor, but something just crossed my mind. Okay. You ready for this? Say silk, 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 silk. Silk, 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 silk. 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 More. Silk. More. Yeah. Silk. 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 Keep silk. on saying it. Silk, 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 silk. What silk. does a cow drink? It uh, it drinks water. Oh my God! I <laughs> want milk. Have you heard this joke before? You ruined my joke, Nitesh. Oh yeah. You heard I, this before. No, I, the milk. Okay. Came into my mind. Right. But right. Oh my God! I wish you had said <laughs> milk. I mean, I'm so sad. Actually, you were the first person who who caught me off guard here. Thank God. We'll also be talking about what were you doing before your first song made such a big hit. I was working at Tone Music Store. Since I started working there, I was surrounded by musical instruments all the time. And there was nothing, um, you know, rather than music in my head. All the time I was writing songs and, and we, we, we were doing our jobs, but at the same time it's a musical store, what else you do, right? right. And, and then you know, one day I was just, um, you know, playing my guitar on the terrace and I was just recording it through a mobile phone. I just expected my friends to react to it. And there was a lot of, uh, you know, like there was a lot of engagement in that video. Right. And one thing I noticed is since the moment uh, you see people tagging their friends right. in a video, right. you tend to get that vibe, key. okay, this is going, this is going out of my out of my timeline for for a bit, you know. And I was like really excited. And he, uh, Sisandai, who has always been an inspiration for me, he told me, "Okay, man, take take the song out. The video I'm This is a very good song. Like under the word gere, is that a problem? No problem, man. Like everyone is using in their daily daily lives. So do that. Cool cool people will understand. He told me, and then I just. Uh, recorded that song inside my bedroom. Right. I was just learning to record. Like you said earlier, you feel saturated. Yeah, I, I do because you know life is not. Uh, no matter how much I try, life can't be normal. Once again, you know right. I can't be that alante guy all the time. You know I have to think about a lot of things. I mean, my closest of friends, I don't know where they are. You know, they are all, I think they are all angry with me because they think, okay, this guy just got lost, but it's not like that. I'm just, you know, uh, I'm just uh, focusing um, to spend some time with my family right now and write some new songs because I'll always be a struggler. I've, you know, I've, I've come here because of my struggle mm -hmm. and I'm always going to struggle and this is, this is the thing I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I hope and let's all pray everything gets Perfect Thank with you, Nitish. And before you leave, uh, I just want you to speak your heart out. Okay. Ready? 
I don't have to dance, right? You don't have to dance. <laughs> okay. That's going to work. What kind of food are you craving for right now? A food kukura, but... Mata sang. Food mata sang. Food kukura. Kid goes on. Gorkhali chotpati from that Gorkhali chotpati. Have you tried the temple when it has Gorkhali chotpati? No, I don't know what's oh, Gorkhali chotpati. Oh, no. Chotpati. You should. You should try. Yeah, I will. Because you are always, you know, like... Uh, that... The, uh, Munching. Character, yes. the villain character. The bogla era basra ko bola. You pop up in my screen. <laughs> the on my character. screen and just... Right. Just to bawal bawal kura aru khai dera. Tere torpa ko chawa jule. Kati manche aru lai. So you should try that Gorkhali chop. It's crazy. One celeb you look up to. It's uh, Mr. Santos Panta. Oh yes. Yeah. I think uh, I was stalking you a few days earlier. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then I saw a post with Santosh yeah, Panta. Uh, really respectful yeah. because uh, I, I'm friends with his son. Oh. I'm a company guy, so that, uh, I think he started to talk to me and was such a normal human being, you know, like such a wonderful human being with a with an aura. Okay? I love people right. with the positive aura. Right. And I was really fascinated and can, I'm a big fan of yours since I was, was in this little. And can I have a picture with you? He was like, okay, no worries. I mean, I took it and I was really happy. So if you were granted one wish, what would it be? I would want my father to get better, like the days before, rocking oh. every day. We all wish the same for Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Oshie. If you were a bird for a day, where would you fly? Uh, to the mountains because um, I'm always fascinated by the mountains. So if you could trade life with any celebrity for a day, who would it be? Uh, of course it would be Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh. I'm, a, I'm, a, okay. I'm a big fan of him. Right. Are you a morning or a night person? I'm a night person. If you could migrate to any planet, which would it be? Uh, I'd love to go to, if it's, uh, I know that it's not possible, but I'd love to go to Jupiter. Why? Because it's, it's the biggest planet? Yeah, it's the biggest planet and it's just one big ball of gas, you know, like, there's no land in there. Okay, that's such a weird so answer for a weird question. It's so scary, you know, if I got the chance, I'll go to Jupiter. Okay. Uh, what was your first job? I was an intern for a bank because I studied bank. banking and insurance, right? Wow. I completed my studies and the, you know, like, the system was banking and insurance and wow. never did that again. Okay. I did it for six months and okay. I thought to myself, I'm not going to spend my life in an office, <laughs> sat on a chair all the time, counting money. Okay, this is not going to define my someone life. else's money, right? Yeah, someone else's money. You know, like, <laughs> I, I used to get that. My, own. my first day job was to count the money. You know, and for two days I counted. She's stolen it, Nitish. I tried my best, okay. but there was a. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> there was a camera in front of me, okay. and um, I was counting money. But you know, like thereafter, that smell of money, it just, you know, just. Like, I think it just, I just took that smell right. with me. And right. I was, uh, every time I was smelling that money, even if I was not <laughs> in, in that mind. office, you know, because for two <laughs> days I just counted the money. Imagine you know. if someone asks you, what's your favorite smell? And the smell of money. money. That <laughs> <sounds so bad. laughs> the smell but of money. But it's actually yeah. a good smell, to yeah. be really honest. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What's your favorite midnight snack? You know, peanut butter and, you know, the, not the brown bread, white bread. Okay. Yeah. Peanut butter. You toast it and you just. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that one for breakfast though. Yeah. That's okay. That's for <laughs> middle of the night. Okay. Are you a cat person or a dog person? A bit of both. I have that cat side and that dog side. Okay. Well. What does your cat side do? Always been a big cat fan, you know. Right. Like right. tigers, and lions, and right. leopards, and cheetahs. Okay. And I don't go, you know, like below. If you could travel free, where would you go? Mm, I'll go anywhere, but uh, to name a specific, um, I would like to go to Serengeti, like Africa. I think he really doesn't like human beings at all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> One movie you could watch forever? I would watch Forrest Gump forever. Uh, okay. If I have to name one. Okay. Or Into the Wild okay. or Forrest Gump. Sadly, these are the questions I have and Thank it's you. over. Thank you. You know, these few minutes passed just like this. Yes. It was lovely I had a great time, you. Ocean. I had a great time. Thank you for cheering me up because I was not in a good state of mind of when course. I came here, but everything is fine now. Of course, it's just my aura. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. That was it for today, guys. We'll see you next week. And uh, before he leaves, any messages for your uh, fans, your followers, your well wishes? Um, first of all, as always, I'd like to say thanks to them because they've been there forever. Right. And 
the love and appreciation is um, I really value them and I'll not take it for granted and I'll just work I'll struggle more and I'll hustle like I've been doing in the past days so thank you and take care of you and your family because family is the most important thing in your life so that's, that's right yeah. see you next week